Should you make the change from ClickFunnels 1.0 to ClickFunnels 2.0? That's a great question and one that I get very often inside of my Facebook community, Funnel Building 101, which if you're not a member, what are you waiting for? I'm sure there's a link somewhere around this video for you to get in on the action. But back to the question, should you make the switch? It's been in beta for about a year now. There's been a lot of buzz about it and it's hard to know whether you should keep what you have right now or just go all in with ClickFunnels 2.0. Well, I've had access to 2.0 since the beta release, so I've had a chance to really get in, test and try things out. I've even been responsible for some changes being made in the editor. How cool is that, right? I think the best way to help you make that decision is to explore the new features that are inside of ClickFunnels 2.0 that they have to offer. So in this video, I'll give you a tour of the inside of the editor just to show you all the new features. Then stick around until the end when I tell you my honest opinion on whether you should switch from ClickFunnels 1.0 to ClickFunnels 2.0. If you're new to my channel, make sure to like and subscribe to continue receiving great reviews. This video is to give you an overview of all the awesome features that are now going to be available inside of ClickFunnels 2.0. Uh, we won't go into the details of the editor. There'll be other videos where I'll go over that in specific options, but this is a, a broad overview to show you everything that's available inside of the software. Um, you got your dashboard, sites and funnels, products, orders, contacts, analytics, marketing, sales, settings, and payments. Uh, dashboard is where you can see an overview of all of your accounts in the sites and funnels. Let's go there. Um, here is where you'll see all the themes. Uh, ClickFunnels 2.0 is based on a sales funnel hub theme, which includes uh, websites and blogs and funnels. Um, let's see the blog section. Here is where you can actually build blogs, make them public, do, and here is a customer center. Customer center is where you can store all of your customer information and view a customer portal for courses and all uh, just keeping track of all your customers. Here is funnels. Uh, we're going to go a little bit deeper into the funnels area, but this is your funnel building area. Let's just take a look inside real quick. Okay, just working on a funnel in here in test mode just to give you an idea of what it looks like inside the funnel builder. Um, you can move things around pretty easily. Uh, you can split test the page, add products, attach workflows, step settings, page settings. Uh, for this page here, you can move things around. Uh, it's really uh, very easy to navigate inside of the editor for your funnels. Here you can set up individual pages. Let's take a look at one of the pages here. This will just give you a look inside of the editor and you can see uh, most of the things inside of the editor are uh, pretty easy. As I said, I'll go over the, uh, the steps of editing pages, but you'll notice there's a new purple section here. Uh, these are called your universal sections. And also, let's take a look here. You can also view on desktop and mobile and it automatically uh, closes in to your, uh, what's called a hamburger icon and you can view both of those really quickly. Next, we have your URL redirects, which are like your 404 pages and pages not found. There is an area to build courses in here. So then the new course section is pretty awesome. Uh, here's where you can store your uh, domains and you can buy a domain and connect existing domains. They do give you one domain absolutely free uh, with the myclickfunnels.com. Uh, these are uh, URLs. So it shows you all the URLs for your blogs, courses, pages, and funnels. Um, let's go now to the next step is your products. There's now one central location where you can store all your products and just add them into your funnel pages. Uh, previously, you had to add 
a product for each page. Now there is one place you make your product and you add them to the pages. You can organize your workspace by adding tags. Um, here is your orders. It manages all your orders, whether it's one time or recurring. You have the option to do both uh, your contacts. Uh, this is where you can store all of your contacts, uh, put tags, you can segment them and you can also import your contacts from uh, external sources. Um, here are your analytics. The, the analytics, you're going to have detailed statistics on all of your funnels and pages. My first funnel, new funnel and uh, shows you uh, page views as well. You can see the conversion rates and look in periods. Um, there's reporting and then there's a live view as well. Um, next, we're going to the marketing. This is really cool um, because the marketing settings are really, this is your email marketing area. Uh, the email, let's take a look here real quick. We're just gonna look at your uh, workflows and uh, I need to set this up. I haven't set it up yet. Um, this is where you'll come to take, do your broadcasts, which are your one-time uh, sending out. There's email templates. Uh, the email templates and the email, actually the email uh, editor is so much more powerful. You can add countdowns in there and everything. It's so amazing. Just look out for those in other videos that I put. Um, and then we have your sales. Um, looks like uh, you can manage your sales, your pipeline, and then we, next we go to your settings. Um, in the settings is where you can change all of your details for your website, such as your logo, your uh, put your tracking information, and etc. cetera. Um, collaborators, this is where you can add people to collaborate with you on your funnels. Um, in the notifications. This tells you all the activity that's happening on your pages. It tracks all of that activity. Uh, the billing is just the billing information. Um, here's a really great area, which is your My Assets. And My Assets is where uh, ClickFunnels 2.0 now allows you to store images, videos, all, and audio. So no more need to have your uh, your video stored on external sources, and it also protects them from download, uh, downloading and copying. These are your style themes, uh, and then also uh, your page themes as well. There's some system emails. Uh, one other option that we didn't take a look at, I'm just gonna go back real quick. Uh, one of the really great features that lots of people are really happy about is what's called the style guide. I'll just show you that real quick. And we got we have to go to one of the pages here. Um, we'll go inside uh, this funnel right here. And when you go inside of the funnel, um, it's when you're editing inside, you'll see this little link down here that says the style guide. Um, just click that style guide. So the style guide lets you store uh, different fonts, different colors, different uh, styles. And what you can do is you go into these styles and it's uh, set throughout the actual uh, funnel. So if you want to set your fonts, your colors, shadow border buttons, you can set button styles. Um, and what it does is when you're in there editing, you can set style number one, style number two, style number three. Um, so when you're editing inside of the page and you want to use, let's say I'm editing one page and that uh, page I want it button style three. Okay, so then I'm just gonna use that and it's gonna use that style on the entire page. And that's how you use the style guide to save you a lot of time when you are building those pages. And that's it. That is the overall tour of some of the features inside of ClickFunnels 2.0. Please watch out for many more of my videos that will cover in detail a lot more of these new features. Great, did you enjoy that tour or what? So what do I think, what is my honest opinion about switching from ClickFunnels 1.0 to ClickFunnels 2.0?
To be honest, at this time, I've already stopped building any new funnels in ClickFunnels 1.0 and started building everything inside of ClickFunnels 2.0. Why? It's already evident that with these changes from the ground up that ClickFunnels is moving ahead with 2.0 and everyone at ClickFunnels is supremely dedicated to being the category king of online sales funnel builders. I, I feel super confident that any bugs or inconvenience that some users might be experiencing right now, they're going to be addressed until the point where ClickFunnels is the category king. I think that if they didn't change is what would have worried me because regardless of the talk out there on the internet, ClickFunnels this, ClickFunnels that, ClickFunnels is drowning out the noise and has one singular focus and that is to be the category king. I admire that in a company very much. I've seen firsthand the power of the community and how this company started a movement and is the leader in that movement now and for the foreseeable future. While fighting off all these other competitors and the knockoffs that seem to pop up every single day. In my opinion, ClickFunnels 2.0 is a realization of the limitations that were in ClickFunnels 1.0. And that took a lot of guts because change is difficult, especially when you already have hundreds of thousands of customers, lots of companies would resist change at the sake of growing, but they're, because they're afraid of losing customers. They're afraid of the naysayers. They're afraid of the ones that just don't wanna change. But you would be fooling yourself to believe that change is not inevitable and not changing is basically a death sentence. It's like saying, go ahead competitors, be better than me and take all of my customers. Does Blockbuster ring a bell? What about the taxi industry? You know, I used to believe that waiting and doing nothing was being safe, but one thing I learned from more than 20 years being in corporate America, working for a Fortune top 10 company and being around the highest level of executive is this that my belief was false. There's no point in staying where you are, you're either moving forward or backwards because even when you're doing nothing and standing still, the things and the people around you are moving. So I encourage you to make a conscious effort to keep moving forward or get left behind. Now there'll be some resources around this video for you with information on how me and my team can help you make that transition. But until next time, take care family. Are you still watching this video? Well, now's the time to smash that heart button and hit subscribe. What are you waiting for? You'll be glad you did.